But they tried to organize a cooperative. A huge warehouse, this guy took a risk, got it from the government. Amazing facility, and at one point had a hundred different, you know, clients, and just couldn't get people to, to do the cooperative part. Uh, it's, it's rough. Okay, one last question for the road. I think, I think we've got a comment, that same question. Right? Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. Eh, en Honduras, particularmente, eh, la situación económica, eh, el problema que tenemos sobre la inversión extranjera, el problema político y el problema social, lo estamos enfrentando eh, con un grupo llamado, que casi toda la gente lo conoce como el grupo de resistencia, que el mismo grupo de resistencia eh, tiene diferentes frentes, ¿verdad? So in Honduras in particular, this problem of foreign rate investment, social and economical issues is being confronted by a group that's called Grupo de Resistencia or Resistance Group, which has many fronts. Pero el trabajo eh, que nosotros estamos teniendo organizativo no solamente va a que la gente arregle su acera o limpie su barrio o haga policía comunitaria, por ejemplo. The organizing work what we're doing is not so much about people cleaning their street or asking for pavement or, um, or, or be like neighborhood watch, work as neighborhood watch. Nuestro trabajo ha ido más allá de hacer conciencia a la gente de combatir el mismo sistema, de combatir el consumo excesivo de los productos que perjudica nuestra salud regresar de nuevo al campo, utilizar productos orgánicos, eh, dejar de consumir los productos importados. So our work has gone beyond that, and it's more now about, um, you know, making people aware of, of, of the bad kind of uh, processes that are consuming, about going back to organics, about um, not necessarily uh, eating products that are always imported, foreign rate investment, to sort of boycott certain certain stores and certain uh, companies. Parte de hacer esos cambios estructurales de los que usted dice es realmente que la gente tome conciencia de poder combatir el sistema siendo menos consumista con estos productos. So part of the structural change that you mentioned, Cliff, is about people being conscious of, on how they can actually fight the system, being more conscientious about what they're consuming. Y también dejar de votar por los mismos políticos. ¿sí? Hay que tener otras iniciativas de gobierno, hacer ese tipo de, de, de democracia, no solamente dentro del hogar, dentro de la comunidad, sino que también dentro del sistema político de cada país. And stop voting for the same politicians. Um, basically, you have a sort of uh, a new recreated democracy within your house, within your community, and within the country too. En Honduras ese es un momento muy importante porque vienen las elecciones y el mismo movimiento de resistencia tiene un partido político nuevo donde toda la estructura del mismo partido ha sido convocada a través de asambleas, no puestos de dedos, sino que hay asambleas donde se elige quienes nos van a representar y es un movimiento más eh, libre para... para poder hacer cambios estructurales, por ejemplo, evitar la industrialización de los productos. They have upcoming elections in Honduras, and uh, after this uh, movement of resistance that she was talking, she mentioned before, and they do have a political party now. And the way people have been appointed to the party is not so much nepotism, but they had open um, meetings where different candidates from these small communities have been appointed for the party. And she believes that that could actually be a positive change towards having those structural, um, radical changes. And everybody, for anybody who wants to stay and visit after we formally end this session, we're going to be around and people can ask questions if they're interested. I want to thank everybody again for your interest and patience. Uh, those of you who would like to support uh, Acorn International, certainly if you go on our webpage, it's easy to make a donation on a recurring basis through, uh, those are called, Skip for, Skip for Change or whatever, uh, or PayPal, or certainly 
Uh, Cliff mentioned his book as well as the other books that uh, oh, my lovely assistant, <laughs> Jill from Ottawa, <laughs> who just wanted to do that all her life. <laughs> um, so anybody who'd like to get a book, certainly we're glad to sign them and uh, it goes to support the work. And thank you again, Cliff and everybody else. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you very much.